In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some awesome Godot effects. So let's go. All right, so we have a blank project here. I'm going to go to other node and add a canvas layer and attach a rich text label to that. This is the bread and butter of how we make this. So we'll resize that. And we want to go ahead and set up here BB code enabled and turn that on. This is what lets us add in those special effects. Let's also go ahead and change the font sizes. So when we add all these effects, we want the font size to stay the same. I'm going to change it to 80 for all of these. Next, let's attach a script to our rich text label. I will keep the name the same. And here's a trick that we can use. Go to your project settings and set it so that the window is always on top. This will allow us to debug easily. So let's start with the basics. The text property is what we want to change here. So if we put this in the process section, then we can get the live updates to it. But normally during your game, you would not actually want to keep it in here because you don't want to refresh the text like 60 times a second. So if we start out with something basic. We can add in tags similar to HTML, but use square brackets here. So the code for bold is B. So we can say this is bold text then you close it by doing slash and then the same tag that you started with in this case b so we can go ahead and also change the size of this window so we don't need all of this space here if we're just going to be editing some text for this example so we can change this to let's say 800 and we don't need this height either we can just do let's say 400 for that and we can also adjust the size of our label so i'll just drag out the edges here i'll just leave that displayed up there for you guys whenever we edit the text so if we want to do that to live editing like i mentioned before we can do that here so if i just go ahead and let's say change the eye to be that and then we save it then you can see now it's italicized and you can combine these as well remember we had that b earlier um they, they have to be in separate square brackets here so like i can't just put it right here that doesn't work um we have to keep, leave them as separate and so whichever one you opened most recently that's when you have to close first so it's like a stack if you are familiar with that so in this case we went bi so we have to say ib and we're leaving so again you just close it with a slash and save it so you'll notice initially when i don't have this and save it it looks like it's already bold but if i wanted to add text after this uh then that would also have the bold effect so stop being bold please but you can see it's still bold so to fix that we use the closing tag so slash b and you can see it stopped being bold there uh, i will also go ahead and change this label to be a little bit larger there we go so that's the basic effect that we can use if we want to add in those animated ones like i showed earlier we can do that for some of these you don't want to have them in process because then it's refreshing the text every time on every frame so for this one we'll put this back to being pass and we will put this in ready so we can say self.text equals so first we can try out the wave text so this one you say wave but this one has some other parameters as well uh, so the first one is amp for amplitude so we can just set that here then no comma we also specify the frequency and you can just put whatever number you want here uh we can start with 500 and see how that looks All right and we can put whatever text we want so we can say wavy text and again make sure to close it let's start this again oh, that's maybe a little too fast so let's make the frequency like 100 whoops i'm still pretty fast um so the amount that it's bouncing is the amplitude so maybe let's turn that down so you can see it's barely jittering there um the frequency is a little bit high still so if we just set that to four where it's still in the ready section so this is only running once so let's set that back to a small number and then stop the game and run it again you can see it barely looks like it's moving but it is moving there so we can set the frequency a little bit higher now and run the game again um, unfortunately again we have to do it this way because if we put this by the process section and run the game again then it looks really laggy um and even if we change this here so for this one you are allowed to change it inside of process the setting that you want here amplitude of 100 this looks pretty nice frequency of three seems good if we adjust that then it's like how fast it goes so yeah around frequency of three or four looks good here let's go ahead and stop that next let's set the rainbow text property um this one also has a frequency so again it's f r e q and then the next one saturation 0.8 and the value you can see how it changed the color there 
Uh, so maybe let's put this a little higher again. There we have some nice rainbow text here. So next we can modify this rainbow here to instead be tornado. And this one also has a frequency, but we also need to specify a radius. This is uh, the radius of the quote-unquote tornado. So we can set this to 10 first, and then let's take out this saturation and value here. And I already updated these. If we run that, see that's a little bit slow. So maybe let's turn up this frequency. And if we make this kind of a lot larger, you don't want to make it too fast or your users might get kind of dizzy here. Uh, you can also adjust the radius. So let's see what that stuff swirl around as if it's a tornado, huh? I'll put this back in ready. And so if we run that, um, as you can imagine, it might be a little bit hard to compute that. So when you're actually using a rich text label, uh, one thing you can do is use push tag. This is property of rich text labels. So you can say push and then whatever tag you want. So again, it's like a stack. You know what that is? So when I say push bold, then it's saying, all right, everything that comes after this, apply the bold effect. So we can say self.append text and let's say uh, bold text. And then let's say we have bold and italics text and we can say push italics here instead. So if you don't want to mess with the tags and this is an easier way, using this does not include every tag though. So for example, tornado is not an option within this. Uh, this is only for the tags that don't have any arguments to them. So that's what we expect here. If we just want some more bold text, then what you can do, uh, similar to how we close the tags when we're done with them, we can say here to hop. We run that again. Since this isn't ready, we have to stop the game and run it again. So you can see we had italics. We would want, uh, yeah, this is what we expect here, is this part is bold and italics text, and then this part's back to just being bold. Uh, you probably want to have a space after these so that it's easier to read. So there we go, back to being readable here. And if we wanted to have some normal text after this, then we can just pop again, because again, now it's like we're closing the bold tag, uh, append text, just normal text, and there we go, back to normal. And you can see it also automatically puts in a scroll bar. So because not everything is able to be done with push, like Tornado and those other ones, I generally just use these them as themselves like instead of using the methods built in. Let's go ahead and clear that and go back down here so I can show some stuff live without restarting the project. So if I say the self.txt is equal to, let's do some short and large letters. Then we try running this. You can see that each I takes up way less space than an M. But if you want to use a mono space font for that, you can use the code tag here. And you'll see this currently doesn't work because we have to set that font here. So we have to specify what we want our mono font to be. I will load one up here and I have my mono space font loaded up. You can see now which one actually takes up the same width. So this is good. If you want to have things lined up, say we want a new paragraph here, we can do that. And this was outside of the mono space, but if I put it inside, and you can see the P or the N takes up the same width as the I, the E, and the W. We change this to say mid. We can also set the alignment. So we say P align center. And we would want to close that whenever we're done with it. Or even shorter if you want. You don't even need the P align part. You can just say a center and then flash the center. This is relative to the entire label. You can see if I fill in the rest, then it actually is more aligned here. There's also aligning left and right. So if I just change both of these, you can see it's left. Now it's right. So useful for aligning things. We can also change the color if we want. So if I could just go in here and say color equals, let's say red, makes everything red until I put the closing color tag. We can also do a fade effect, this color part. So if we instead put fade, so for this fade, we specify where we want to start. So if I say start equals two, and then the length, it looks like we have a stray color tag here. Then this is part of the whole string, from what I understand. So if I move this to the beginning, then starting at index four. So in this case, that's the first M here, because again, index zero, and then it has a length of five, and then everything else after that was just faded out, at least until we went to this new paragraph here. So if instead we said the fade length was, let's say, 12, and you can see it lasts a lot longer. It's a bit confusing. It doesn't start where you 
have the tag it starts for this whole paragraph outline color so underscore so we also need to specify an outline size so let's do that uh, we need to say it's five here let's go ahead and run this so we can see it yep we can see that's working oops i just need to close it uh we make this a better color so maybe we could say light blue now i recommend you look at the docs for this it goes into much more detail and it shows some tags i have not shown here but that is all that i'll go into for this so hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching